I am filming this episode of Liberty Lockdown whilst going on my run today. It is called Ready for Height. So let's roll the VT. Let's go. That's right, this episode is all about ready for height. We're gonna have our three segments of door to door, head to head. We are gonna have a special ready for height challenge with me and Joel, and then we will do message on the move. So without any further ado, let's head over to door to door, head to head, and let's meet our new challengers. So I'm here with Matt and Sally for door to door, head to head. We're not at their house because they've come over to our garden for a barbecue, as is allowed now. So they're by my conservatory door. So we are playing door to door, head to head with our current champions, Matt and Sally. They're gonna go first and then we're gonna head over somewhere else to see if these people can beat them and take them off their mighty perch of knowledge, as it's now known. <laughs> this week's slightly different. They get an A or B choice and because it's all to do with uh, ready for height, it's all about which one is tallest or biggest and uh, so it's nice and easy you can answer within two or three seconds or I'll move on I can only take your first answer and so are you ready to play door to door head to head yes. which is the tallest skyscraper in the world is it Burj Khalifa or Shanghai Tower uh, Burj Khalifa what is taller Eiffel Tower or the Empire State Empire State which country is the tallest roller coaster is it the USA or Japan Japan mm. what is taller Big Ben or Taj Mahal Taj Mahal mm. Highest peak in the UK, is it Ben Nevis or Snowden? Uh, ben Nevis. Who is the taller person of these sports personalities? Is it LeBron James or Michael Jordan? Uh, LeBron James. Who is the shortest of these two movie actors, Tom Cruise or Elijah Wood? They're both tall. Go. Go. Elijah Wood. Which capital has the highest altitude? Is it Mexico City or Brasilia? Mexico City. Which is taller, the Washington Monument or Christ the Redeemer? Christ the Redeemer. Mm. Incorrect. Higher, the tallest it? waterfall is Angel Falls, but is it, but is it A, 979 metres, or B, 579 metres? Uh, 579 metres. <laughs> what dimension is greater of uh, the Pyramid of Giza? Is it its height or its width of its base? Uh, width. Which is taller, the Leaning Tower of Pisa or Sydney Opera House? Sydney Opera House. Which is taller, the Statue of Liberty or St Paul's? Statue of Liberty. What is higher, the average transatlantic flight height or the record hot air balloon height? No, it's hot air balloon. Which is the highest flying bird? Is it a griffin vulture or the bar-headed goose? Goose. <laughs> Which is the tallest of animals ever, alive or dead? Is it the tallest giraffe or the tallest T-Rex? <laughs> she said you're up. <laughs> What's taller, Castle Hill or the tallest tree in Deptford? Uh, tree. True or false, the world's deepest man-made hole is deeper than Everest is high. Uh, I think that's true. The tallest human ever was uh, A, 8 foot 11 or B, 8 foot 5? Uh, 8 foot 5. Mm. Incorrect. What is currently, last question, what is currently the tallest cathedral in the UK? Is it Lincoln or is it Salisbury? Lincoln. Mm. So let's count up the scores. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Matt and Sally's score is eleven. Let's see if our next contestants can beat them. Let's see who it is. It's Chelsea! Hey. Good, how are you? It's Joe and it's Chelsea! Say hi! Hello. Hello. If you guys don't know, then these guys run our F&B team at church. They give all the nice scrummy foods and drinks. So are you ready to play door to door, head to head? Absolutely. Which is the tallest skyscraper in the world? Is it Burj Khalifa or Shanghai Tower? Burj Khalifa. What is taller, Eiffel Tower or Empire State? Eiffel Tower. Which country is the tallest roller coaster in the world? Is it the USA or Japan? USA. What is taller, Big Ben or the Taj Mahal? Mm -hmm. Big Ben. What is the highest peak in the UK? Is it Ben Nevis or Snowden? 
Snowden. Mm. Ah. Who is the taller sports personality? Is LeBron James or Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. Mm. Who is the shortest of these movie actors? Is it Tom Cruise or Elijah Wood? Elijah Wood. Which capital city has the highest altitude? Of Mexico City or Brasilia? Brasilia. Mm. <laughs> Which is taller, the Washington Monument or Christ the Redeemer statue? Christ the Redeemer. Mm. The tallest waterfalls is Angels Falls, but is it 979 metres or 579 metres? Second one. Mm. What dimensions is greater of the uh, Pyramid of uh, Giza? Is it the height or is it its width at the base? Width. Uh, what's taller, the Leaning Tower of Pisa or the Sydney Opera House? Okay. Sydney Opera House. The Statue of Liberty or St Paul's, which is taller? Statue of Liberty. Mm. What's higher, the average transatlantic flight height or the record hot air balloon height? Transatlantic. Mm. Wow. What is the highest flying bird, a, a griffin vulture or a bar-headed goose? Goose. Mm. What's the tallest animal that's... Is it the tallest giraffe that's alive today or uh, a T-Rex? Giraffe. Mm. What's taller, uh, Castle Hill in Thetford or the tallest tree in Thetford? Tallest tree. True or false, the world's deepest man-made hole is deeper than Everest is high. True. True. The tallest human ever was either A, 8 foot 11, or B, 8 foot 5. 8 foot 11? Yeah. What is currently the ta tallest cathedral in the UK? Is it Lincoln or is it Salisbury? Salisbury. Let's top up the scores! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! <laughs> Oh no, we lost! So, Matt and Sally are still the head-to-head -head champions. Come on guys, let's sort it out, let's knock them off their perch. So the ready for height challenge is that Joel and I have got to build the biggest tower we can all the way to touch the ceiling in this warehouse. Using some pallets on the bottom. Oh yeah. yeah. Right, we're getting to the stage now where I can't reach anymore, and the rules are I've got to stay on the floor, so I can't, I can't get any more. You can just about throw it up. Right, so, so, <laughs> so uh, stop it! <laughs> Fight to the death! <laughs> right, I think we've got the right idea. <laughs> I, I think... <laughs> I reckon what we can do is if we tape... These boxes are fine, they're quite stable. But if we tape the wobblier boxes together, and then we can then lift them up... Is, it, is this toilet paper? That is toilet paper. Okay. Why, <laughs> I thought it was tape. Do you need the toilet? I found the tape! Tape. I'm gonna get some of this tape for home. Ow, 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 ow. Small one in there. Right, so we're nearly there, four or five feet to go. Joel's had the good idea of using a table. We've got massive tables in here that we can use and a spider as well. We've also got some green crates.
be touching? Yeah. They're touching. We have hit the rafters. So that was the ready for height challenge. Me and Joel managed to build a tower all the way to the ceiling and we didn't even use one toilet roll. Yeah! And so now we'll move on to our final section that we like to call message on the move. So we are two weeks into our five week series called Ready. And this week's Ready is, as you know, ready for height. So I'd like to let you know that I'm a big brave boy. I am not scared of heights. Oh yeah, that's right, I am tough. But that said, a few years ago, I went on holiday with my family to Florida and we went to somewhere called Bush Gardens, a theme park. And uh, there's a great big ride there called Falcon's Fury, a 335 foot drop where it takes you up in this tower, faces you down face first to the ground and throws you at 60 miles per hour at the floor. And if I'm honest, that wasn't the scary thing, but this ride was the first time I've ever been scared on a theme park ride. And the scary bit was not the height of the tower, it was the fact that it was a bit of a windy day and the tower was swinging in the wind. It was just bending ever so slightly and when you're over 300 foot up in the air, that's quite scary. It felt like it was gonna fall over, but everyone on the ride knew it wasn't going anywhere. You know, we imagined the foundations were strong, they were deep, they were wide, they were strong. Modern foundation building techniques allow us to build something of significance, something of height. And all great things that last, anything of height, have good foundations. I'm walking around the bottom of Castle Hill right now. It has a very wide foundation. It's actually wider than it is tall. And this tree behind me next to Castle Hill is even taller than Castle Hill. And we know its foundations will go deep and that allows it to grow even taller than Castle Hill. Or take a brand new massive building like this. The engineers have to build on solid foundations. The lesson being really, if you wanna build anything of value in life, it must have a good foundation. If you wanna build anything of height, you've gotta get the foundation right. Just like the challenge I just done with Joel. If the foundation is wobbly, it easily falls, especially with a klutz around like me, or Joel, he's essentially a shaved Tasmanian devil. You know at some point the tower is gonna to get smashed into a few times. And it's the same in life. Whatever you're building, the storms are gonna come. And this tree behind me shows us the storms of life will definitely come. And if our base is weakened, if we're not connected to our roots, and when that happens, when the storms of life come, they can break us. And sadly, when we break in our life, there is always collateral damage. You know, we often see the devastation the storms of life cause, and we can either choose to walk on by, ignore them, or we can learn from them. See, this tree's foundations, its roots, was weakened because its foundation is near a river and it slowly eroded away at the foundation. The thing that it was seeking in life, for life, water, was the very thing that slowly eroded away its stability. And when we build on things in our life that are not stable, the very thing that we are trying to search for or cling on to can be the very thing that destroys us. Be it a relationship, a career, a person, an ideology, even a religious behavior. And Jesus said this in Matthew, Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on a bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against the house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. So are you ready for height? Do you want to build something of height? Then make sure you build on a solid foundation. Bottom line, I believe if you build on him, with him and for him, the sky's the limit. Well, thanks for tuning in today. If you're watching on Facebook, then please go across to our YouTube channel and subscribe and click the notifications bell so you can be updated every time we upload a new video. We shall see you lovely people next week on Liberty Lockdown. See ya.